Good morning. Today we are hosting the first ever PvP tournament in Pokemon Go actually live on Nick Trainer Tips's channel. I will leave the link in the I mean just look up Trainer Tips. Y'all know who he is. He is streaming or we are streaming on his channel at 11:30 a.m. PST today. The first ever PvP Invitational Tournament, essentially. So it'll be uh, it'll be cool. It'll be kind of a cool test run with PvP and tournaments. I'm excited. Also today happening, uh Cresselia is leaving. I got like one or two of them, and uh, Ho-Ho and Lugia are coming back. We've never seen these two legendaries in raid battles before. They can be shiny, exciting stuff. Obviously sarcasm, this is like the 30th time these both have been back in raids. And that's actually only for this weekend, by the way. From this weekend, the 14th, to next week, the 17th, uh, we have Ho-Ho and Lugia, and then after that, they're gone. So I don't know what's next, but I, I smell Generation 4. And then today we beat Pokemon Go campaign mode. Enjoy the video. Oh, good morning, everybody. Merry almost Christmas and under the Christmas tree. We have some <laughs> new presents. Ah, uh, there's new boxes in the shop and they're actually really good. This, uh, that's a good sale, that's a good sale. This is a monster sale. I'm not gonna buy it because my bag is full, unfortunately, but we will be buying, is he here? JT Lee will be here in five minutes, so it's enough time for me to intro the video and what we're doing today, which is not buying an ultra box because my storage is full, but more importantly, we will be battling. The campaign mode here in Pokemon Go, we essentially have a brand new story mode and it's good. If you go here, right, you go near nearby, you've all seen it, I'm sure you've all done it. You go battle, you got Blanche, Candela, and Sp and essentially these three are the story mode uh, little characters here in Pokemon Go. You can battle them as many times as you want per day and they all attribute towards your Ace Trainer medal, which again has been a meme for the longest time. I'm very happy for reversal that we can finally, you know, check this off the list. But yes, you can battle each one of these three and then once a day you can get a reward from them, which could be a Sinnoh Stone, which I need really bad. And then also, um, it's essentially three battles per person. So we've got a, a nine battle day today and I've got parties ready for every single one of them. And that is Pokemon Go campaign mode. Now let's, let's beat up on some team leaders. Okay, Gilly will be here any minute right now. So we will start the battle against Blanche Le Bebe. Ready for all of these, uh, these great league challenges. Now the one complaint that I have and that everyone else has, but like, I guess kind of makes sense, sort of, not really, is that it is so easy <laughs> to battle these challenges, these trainers, these ace trainers. I mean, like the lower, I haven't seen, I've only actually, I've only ever seen um, Blanche's, okay, I guess we're gonna use Stomp, I didn't really wanna use that. I've only ever seen Blanche's um, battle party and it is, ridiculously easy. It's the Magikarp, it's two more very easy ones, like a Phoebus right there as well. So it's like, not a challenge. Here, I'll swap out two, right? We'll bring a little Halloween hat Pikachu, huh? Kind of a cool thing. Should be a little super effective right there with this little wild charge action. The one complaint that I have, along with everyone else, is that it is, oh, destroyed. Way too easy. And then for the last Pokemon, it's a Squirtle, which we obviously will be super effective against. Uh, what's going on right now? Oh, it's not easy when you get free, oh, I can't. I can't trade out Pokemon. Is that on like a timer? That is on a timer. Okay, that's cool. I actually didn't know that for whatever reason. Gonna shield up right here. All right, it's starter versus starter. We got starter versus starter. I'm kind of surprised no shields have been used. She better use that shield or this is gonna be it for her battle party and that is gonna be game over. Use a shield, you've got two of them for a reason, come on. And then that's another thing too, is that like, they don't try. <laughs> like, I'm gonna destroy you if you don't use a shield right now. It's gonna be game over. You literally have two shields, you can use one. No shield. <laughs> what? And that's a win. I'm not going to complain. Um, it's a really, really easy way to farm up rewards. Uh, although you can only get one per day and we got started, so we did not get our... Uh, and also we got Ace Trainer as well. But there's that. Super easy battle. Actually, can we... I think we could sneak in another one before Gilly gets here? I think so. Okay, it's now the Ultra League right now, which we have Le Big Boy and the Sudowoodo does have the extra charge move. So this is actually the first time I'm going to see... Oh! A little in nine tails. That's kind of cool. Okay, okay. First time ever seeing actually the double charge move. I've, I've, I don't have any Pokemon with a double charge move. So no, no, we're not gonna rock slide. We're gonna wait for that earthquake to charge up. Use it, use it, yeah. Oh no, attack incoming. Protect the Sudowoodo at all costs. We must keep him alive. Now we can send this little earthquake in there. I don't think the dodge is coming. Nice, gonna do a good amount of damage there. And then we're gonna hit that rock slide right as we can next. We gotta beat her to it, yes! Okay, sweet, rock slide going in. We know she's not gonna use her shield because for whatever reason she decides to never use the shield when she has two, literally two. And then a little nine tails down. All right, so what am I, guy? Let's go. What's next? Lele. Um, and the one thing that probably should be fixed that I'm noticing too is that you can deliver damage uh, and deliver hits as the Pokemon is being tossed into the battle. So you can have a Pokemon jump into a battle already 
almost severely damaged in maybe some cases um, before they even get a chance. We just, we're, the Sudowoodo is absolutely going off right now. What's the last one, huh? What's the last one? What is, what's happening? It's gonna be, oh boy. This is gonna be a different story. Sudowoodo's gonna get the hands right here. It's Lapras, we can send in a rock slide though, do a little bit of damage. We're gonna bring out Taxazard right here, our shiny Charizard. This actually does have Blast Burn. We're back to the one single move instead of the two charge moves. Let's do it, Blast Burn him, Blast Burn him. Light him up, boy. And then you know what? Oh, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna protect shield. I won't protect, you know what? She's not using protect shields, I won't use it. I think Gilly's here, and uh, speaking of Gilly, shiny Charizard for the win right there against Blanche. And then I shouldn't get a reward, I did not. And then one more blip towards that ace trainer. It's gonna take a long time to battle this up. So Gilly is here, we're gonna head down to Los Angeles, and on the way down there, battle some more. Campaign mode, really easy battles. Okay. See you later. In the old car, but it was nice. <gasps> Wait till Hello. you see my car. I think it's closed. <laughs> Back to LA today. We've got the tournament happening tomorrow. There's a tournament again. At the information will be at the beginning of this video, but most likely at 11:30 a.m. on Nick Trainer Tips's channel. Stay tuned for that, and uh, to LA we go. A little morning Starbucks sesh, and actually, apparently in Pokemon Go, there is a Buizel, there, yeah, yeah, there's a Buizel spawn, this is cool. These guys were really hard to find in the wild. I think they've been made easier in this last update, which is cool because I will never get my, I don't know what the, what's the name of a Buizel's evolution? That was our a five day streak, which is great. 26 candies, yeah, we're not even close. Yeah, we're gonna Starbucks up, but we're also gonna do another battle. Okay, let's get a, get a little battle in right now. We've got the last one against Blanche in the Master League. This is my first ever Master League battle against an ace trainer, I guess, or against one of the team leaders. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see how hard it is because all the other leagues are really, really easy to battle against. So we've got Lethank, and then uh, that is H. Doe, the shiny Dragonite, hashtag sponsored, the Celebi, and then Vape God, the Vaporeon, because I, I don't know what to expect like difficulty wise out of these. So Dragonite first. All right, a Lapras. Okay, we saw a Lapras in the Ultra League, so kind of hoping to see a little bit more. Uh, Kind of it mixed up a little bit more. Also, it, it's it's gonna be super effective, so I'm not gonna swap out right now. I'm gonna let type effectiveness kind of play its role. Remember, super effective damage does way more damage. Now, we can get Draco Meteor in right there, nice. We know that Blanche is not gonna dodge because I don't know why they don't use their dodges. They really should, because look at the damage, man! Look at that! We finished him, even, even with the super effectiveness coming in hard, coming in haunt. We got the dub there, so next one's gonna be a Glycer. That is sick, what? Oh, that's so cool that they, wow, that attacks so fast. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I'm not gonna use Draco Meteor because I'm gonna let my Dragonite get knocked out. You know what, here, I'll swap out. Attack incoming, we're gonna let it happen uh, so that I can swap off to another Pokemon. But that is so cool that it's got a jet. Give me a Sinnoh Stone. You can't be flexing these, these Sinnoh Stone Pokemon and not give me one, like what the heck? I can't wait to get this. <laughs> Although I know Glyssor, not the greatest bet. You know what, we're not gonna use a shield. We're gonna save the shield for our last Pokemon for Vape God. Uh, earthquake, not gonna hurt too bad. We should be able to take it down with our Celebi because we've got a Hyper Beam coming in hot right now. And again, we know there will be no dodge. I, and I really wish it used the shields. I really wish the team leaders used their shields. Like, bro, it's in the game for a reason. And the last one's gonna, no freaking way. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. Is the last one gonna be like legendaries for all of them? Articuno makes sense because, you know, Blanche, Team Mystic, Articuno, ouch. Celebi getting the hands right there. Look like uh, we're gonna bring out Vaporeon. And we still do have two shields. So we can protect against this, and we know that, you know, they're obviously not gonna use their shield, so attack incoming, we will shield up, and then, uh, yeah, Vaporeon, we should, uh, we should be able to take this out of Vaporeon, if not, we have our, uh, Dragonite, freaking one, and we shouldn't get any rewards right there, nice, we just get one more, it's literally one battle per, tap. that's gonna take so long, okay, you win, and boom, we have beat team leader one, Manche, that is, uh, campaign mode, one out of three completed. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my, how are you? Is this ever working? Why did we get this? <laughs> what time is it, like 9 in the morning? It's never too early for a McDonald's okay. cone. What's up? And we're back. We have to go set up for the tournament right now, though. You can't reward here, sir. It's all right. Is that, is that yours? It's not like actually have to oh. <laughs> So this is uh, what main stage will look like. It's these two chairs right here. Actually, you know what? We just like makeshifted a layout. You'll have seen it already. 
pretty good. We need to actually battle Kendella in the Great League because we tried earlier and it didn't work too well, so it's time to take her freaking down. Battle one, round one, take. Ponyta versus Slugma, a little fire v fire. That we, we didn't see this earlier because it was broken, so this will be nice. But yeah, it should be a should be a cool stream. We're kind of figuring out <laughs> as we go along. And it's to yeah. He's like, we'll get there, you know, it starts tomorrow, we'll get there. Okay, Vulpix. Nice. I I don't I understand why these smaller rounds are like easy. Sorry, I did not mean to use that shield. We are currently figuring out how to mirror the phone correctly onto the screen because we figured it out and then realized that we were about 10 feet too short on the cable, so <laughs> figuring that out now. Wild charge in your face. Oh, Charmander, little shot the gilly. Okay, cool. And then, oh, I can't swap out because, oh, we, no freaking worries. This Charmander is giving Pikachu the hands. Come on, wild charge. Get one off. Oh my gosh. With this, oh, literally dead. Literally dead. But we can send the wild charge? Interesting. All right, Corsola, this is going to be up to you. Nice. That is, okay. Progression. Sweet. And Charmander down. That is great league. Finish you in. I say we keep going while we're just sitting there. Again, we're kind of just figuring things out. Does this work? Can you see me? Okay. All right. Sudo would start against Alolan Marowak. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like seeing, like, you know, you got some Alolan Pokemon. You have some Gen 4 mixed in here. It's kind of a kind of a cool mix <laughs> we've got going for the, uh, I guess, campaign mode for Pokemon Go PvP. And we're going to use a little rock slide action. We would have the double move here on Sudo Wudu. I did drop the 75,000 on that because why the heck not? Oh, yes. I was saying, like, before PvP started, and we're definitely going to protect this, that in every battle I ever did, at least at a competitive level, I would use a Sudo Wudu in every single one of them. So as long as we're battling in the Ultra League, we have a lucky Sudo Wudu with decent IVs and uh, two moves. So that will be a. Uh, everyone's going to know my strategy. But wait, okay, Merrick down, okay, Sudo. And the next is going to be. Oh, a Houndoom. That's a funny little meme. Yeah, see, like, the Houndoom jumped in, didn't even get a chance, already got smacked up. All right, Rock Slide coming in hot. Oh, that was just... Dude, Sudo is a freaking tank. Get out of here. And what is the last one? You know what? We're going to swap out, too. We're going to bring up Chris, Chris Shalia. We're going to give Chris Shalia a little love. Ooh, an Infernape. All right, that's fine. Speaking of, actually, legendary news that I probably covered at the beginning of this video, uh, ho -Oh and Lugia are coming back for the first... I mean, we, we've never had these Pokemon in raided battles before. Super exciting stuff. Um, and there's the shiny out form too, so that's awesome. So I think I battled all of about one or two Cresselias. At least though in PvP against a future a future ape. An Infernape, we know that it is better. And that's a dub in the Great League. Might as well keep going. We should we should we should just knock Kendall out. Yeah, yeah hop in, dude. Battle hop me. In. No. I was like, you don't want that. Do do you on we your channel? Do that huh? as well. Yeah? We are, are you battling Candela Ultra or Master? This is Candela Master. This is oh. the final one. Have you done Candela Master? Have you done all these yet? Yeah, Candela might have beat me before. <laughs> oh, was Candela the one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Luckily, yeah. they don't protect, so you should be okay. Yeah, that's the... I don't know why that should be a thing. I also used like a, a shift tree, so it's just... Against Infernape? Yeah. Wow. That's so sick. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's so fun. Okay, cool. Well, Electrovar coming out. Draco Meteor going to go right to the dome piece right there. Gilly, you are competing in the tournament. Yes. Are you, you ready? Winning the tournament. Yeah. Facts. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Nice. Yeah. That'll be that'll be fun. I'm also Dude, gonna this bring. This guy's out. got the squad. That's Are what you I'm kidding saying, me? bro. Electrovar. That's so cool. Electrovar and Glysaur. So I'm assuming Master League has what is Spark? No, don't tell me. But I'm assuming Spark has uh, Generation Four Sinnoh Evolution. I haven't played him yet in uh, the, the highest league yet. Really? No. Even as uh, Team Instinct, you haven't battled your own. No. No, I, I, you can't. That's that's family. That's kin. Well, this guy's about to get destroyed. Hyper so. Beam and Good Night oh, Moltres. Done so. Wow. That was a one hit. Oh, I, that's that's all she wrote. <laughs> okay, cool. Candela defeated. Sweet. 333 out of 1,000 on the Ace Trainer. We will complete that. Yeah, that will happen. Sweet. And then there's Candela down. Now we're going to keep going on the uh, pre production. Yeah. yeah, and we can adjust sizes as we need. But yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll have that going. That looks sick. Ready to compete? Yeah. See you in Santa Monica? Yeah, where do you normally park over there? This is an epic shot. Um, <laughs> there. Okay, we are now back actually in the office. It's been a minute, but we're home and we're, oh gosh, leaving actually in a week from today. So we won't be home for too long. But while we're home and, and just chilling, we're actually gonna go finish off these battles. We gotta finish up Spark here. Wi-Fi isn't working. Okay, let's train. So three battles left. What is your bag is full? Oh no. Actually, I, I can't get any rewards today, so it's all right. All right, use this party. Got to knock out Spark real quick, and we will finish off <laughs> campaign mode. Did you see that wind up from Spark? Oh my goodness! Campaign mode here in Pokemon Go. Starting off with oh uh, a little bit of electric, doing some damage here. Not gonna lie, actually, this is a uh, this is the most fair fight attack incoming. I'm gonna let it happen. This is the most fair fight that I have had throughout all of the, at least Great League battles. Okay, Magnemite was doing a little bit more damage than I thought, now now it's done. All right, what's the next, dude, that windup is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Mareep gonna come in here, hopefully gonna finish off, I'm just gonna let Mareep finish off our, uh, our pony talk because we need to get a little bit more of a challenge here. And attack incoming, I'm good, man, finish me off. We're gonna actually bring on Pikachu, Get on out here, my guy. All right, our witch hat Pikachu. 
from, I want it, that was just from 2017. This is an older one. But yeah, the setup went well today. I'm actually really, really excited to do some, uh, to do some tournaments, to do some challenges, and to get this whole like Silph Arena thing kind of going. Thunderbolt, not gonna do much there. We've got a wild charge coming pot for ya. And we're gonna have to see how this uh, tournament itself goes. This was very, very last minute done, like PNG assets made super last minute. The, the layout we constructed today while we were sitting there, totally not planned, totally not ready for for the tournament itself, so I'm glad that the uh, it went, the setup at least went so well. Destroy him! Oh, wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Awesome. And there we go. <laughs> okay. Spark, great leap. Done. And then let's go in again. This time, the Ultra League, we got Le Big Boy, and we're gonna hop on and see what uh, see what Spark's carrying in the Ultra. All right, the massive windup. An Alolan Raichu, okay, cool. In this matchup looking pretty decently matched. We're gonna throw in a Rock Slide there, see if the uh, Alolan Raichu can, can handle this. Oh. Not too bad. The incredible windup coming in from Spark, looking like it's gonna be a Magneton. Mystic 7 Earthquake right off the top there. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, pfft. that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Sorry. All right, and then a Manectric, cool. So we're gonna let Sudowood get knocked out there. We're gonna swap on over to, let's bring out our Shiny Charizard. We brought out Cresselia last time, Shiny Charizard this time. And as we talked about in yesterday's episode, this is just for general PvP. Blast Burn and any community day move on the starters is absolutely broken, like completely just ridiculously OP. So we're gonna send the broken move, Blast Burn, on the Shiny Charizard in there, and it's going to wreck that Manectric. Yeah, we're gonna switch to Cresselia, finish this off with the old Cresselia. Boom, give the love to the Legendary. And then, <laughs> Great League, now finished off right there. All right, Spark, Master League, we got h -Dose sponsored Vape God, bring it on. We obviously know there will be a Zapdos at the end here, and that's about all we can predict for. Manectric, kinda wish, you know? Come on, you already used a Manectric. We're gonna let the attacks come. No shields used. Goodbye, Manectric. Thanks for coming out. My low, wow, okay. Definitely not. That's super cool though. We're gonna let, uh, we're gonna let my low tick do its thing. You know, I kind of want a sort of a fair match here. So we'll wait for the second Pokemon to come out. Hashtag sponsored the Celebi coming in hot. That's cool. But yeah, I can definitely see more, uh, more tournaments being done on like a live stream level kind of in the future. Uh, we were talking, it'd be kind of cool to see and do live streams as we do community day meetups for like regional level uh, tournaments. Um, you know, we can go to an area in the world and then do like a live stream tournament. Obviously we'll need some sort of stream setup or studio in order to do that. So it would kind of be a tough thing to do, but I don't know, or we can just do invitationals in Los Angeles. Either way, it'd be a, it'd be kind of a cool thing to see more live stream actual PVP tournaments. Because one thing that a lot of people are talking about with the PVP system, there's the Zapdos, we kind of saw that coming, is that it's cool, right? It's nice to have PVP. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about it. We have a Vaporeon to finish this off. I might, I might actually, I, hold on, hold on. I need to save, I need to save this. We need to deliver some serious damage to, uh, oh, did that finish me? No, okay. It'd just be cool to see more tournaments done uh, for PVP because people were talking. Oh, did we just finish that off? I'm not gonna protect shield. People were talking the PVP system in Pokemon Go. Uh, obviously not the most in depth. It's still like kind of a tap. It's not even a tap and swipe. It's just kind of a tap thing, so. Not the craziest, most strategic thing, which is why we need to create the strategy uh, through a league. It kind of just, you know, we, we build the strategy, we build the structure, we build the fun uh, into it third party, but we beat the campaign mode, by the way. So that's the whole idea behind the PVP tournament system is just to like make PVP more fun, even though right now uh, it's a bit basic. But that's all she wrote. We have finished off the uh, Blanche, Candela, and Spark. So. We beat Pokemon Go campaign mode. And remember, there will be a live stream tournament today at 11.30 a.m. on Nick Trainer Tips' channel, so pop in for that. Uh, pretty excited, the, the setup went well, so we'll have to see how the actual competition goes, and as long as everyone shows up, we should be good. But yeah, I just kinda wanted to go through and knock out the uh, the team leaders, I thought it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. And I will definitely be doing a lot of that offline because we have a lot of progress to be made uh, on our Ace Trainer bed because we are only at 330, what? Oh, that's not it. 336,000, so tweet me your Ace Trainer badges or let me know in the comments, where are you on Ace Trainer progression? And yeah, that was uh, that. was that. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we do a lot more challenges for PvP. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Tune in for the live stream. Peace out.